Let me show you how to use a fake NetNG to do a simple dynamic analysis of a malware sample. So first let me start Wireshark. And let's filter on DNS traffic. And now I will launch the sample. Okay, like this. So it elevates. Okay, and you can see here request for write randion dot ru and the response is from DNS that the name is not found so uh, we'll just let it go okay we get the error so you can see a request for right round on RU and then another one with a subnode name ER and some numbers all of them get uh, no such name replies so name is not found so uh, when the dns name is not found it will not be able to establish a tcp connection so you cannot look into it to see uh, how it behaves and that's where uh, fake net can help you so let's uh, close this and let me first just show you a ping to a non-existing domain like this and it could not resolve the host so you get no ping now when you launch fake net like this fake net will launch many services for example, also uh, a DNS uh, listener. Okay, so it is running. And now let's do the ping again. And you see that now we get a uh, reply. And that is because if you look here into uh, the log, you will see that a request was, a DNS request was received for this domain here. And it responded with this IP address and if you do an IP config here you can see that it is in the same subnet as this machine so that is what uh, fakeness does So we will use, we will stop it now and use it to analyze our sample. So what I'm going to do first is launch an elevated command prompt. I'm going to demo here and then fake net. And now I will launch fake net and I will redirect the error output, the standard error output to a file. Like this. This will log all the messages from uh, fake net to a file. Okay. And then let's start or sample again okay and now you can see that the sample uh, behaves differently you get the connection error much faster Let's say okay. 
Okay, and it has deleted that cell, so now we can stop fake net. Okay. And now if we go into the fake net folder, we have here our output log. Here. And here you see our sample. It does a WPAT request and it also does a request for this Russian domain. And then it also logs the post request uh, that it is an HTTP request because it's on listener 80. And so the interesting thing now is that you can see what kind of network traffic you can expect. And this is the URL that was used. And also, interestingly, here is the user agent string. Eh? This is a very uh, special, specific user agent string, uh, Christmas Mystery 553. Later on, you can see other requests here to this subdomain with the request fail. And this request contains data. And the data is here. So not only do you have this in this uh, output file, but this has also been saved in packets here. This is the last capture that was saved by FakeNet. And if I open that with Wireshark here, I have, for example, when I filter for DNS, eh, the queries and the, and the responses. And if I filter for HTTP, uh, here, for example, I have the request, the, the post HTTP. And I can do, for example, a follow TCP stream to see what happens. And, and you see here what uh, FakeNet does. It uh, responds with the, with the default HTML page. And, and that is something you can change. It's all uh, customizable. So this is how the FakeNet can help you by simulating uh, a network and, and the internet so that you can uh, analyze samples, malware samples, for example, if you don't want to connect them to the internet or if they no longer work because uh, the uh, CNC is no longer available.